Hi, welcome back to a brand new, fresh, new episode called McEwerology, and this is Tom McEw speaking. So, past couple of weeks, I announced that I will be making, putting new content into the video that would make me change the title of my channel from Musicology to McEwerology. So, it is a brand new child channel not child channel so you get a brand new of this including book reviews theater reviews still the music reviews i'm i'm starting the music reviews next year like when we get into the new year in january because i've been quite busy with uni work so i keep everything like secure and settled but i have been in a book review so this is my very first vlog uh reading vlog so today guys i got a stack of books that i'm planning on reading so this is a tbr so let's start with one book that i'm starting with the series that is called the seven husbands of evelyn hugo by taylor jenkins reed I am currently on 300 pages of the book. I am close of finishing it so far. Really, really great read. Really gripping book to read in and everything else. So it was really gripping. It's basically about a journalist who came to see Evelyn Hugo, who is in her 80s, who is expanding through a memoir of a list of husbands that she's been with and it's quite sad reading some of her husbands and it's just so gripping to read and I'm looking forward to make a big huge book review of this book it's really really great then I decided to go into my thriller reads because I love reading a bit of a thriller you know I'm a thriller fanatic and that this is why I picked while My Eyes Were Closed by Linda Green. I never read, I don't know what this book is all about, but from the, from the back of the synopsis is an instinct that you can lose everything. One, two, three. Lisa Dale shut her eyes and count to 100 during a game of hide and seek. When she opened them, her four-year-old daughter, Ella, is gone, disappeared without a trace. The police and the, the media and Lisa's family all think they know who snatched Ella. But what if the person who took her isn't a stranger? What if they are convinced they are doing the right thing? And what if Lisa, Lisa's little girl in danger of disappearing forever this is all about disappearance which i can't wait to get into it i don't know when i'm going to start going into it i probably in the during the new year but i am looking forward to reading it yes i'm in my snug pizzas because i love pizzas so this is my snuggy from primark so i just warn it because it is freezing cold in england so I picked up this one because I know it's in the third of the series, which I already got the second book of it, and it is Louise Penny, Cruel, Cruelest Month. And it's basically, um, I read this from a really fa big favourite of YouTuber of mine called Candy, um, who recently passed away last year. Um, God rest her soul. She... Um, reviewed this series called of louise penny and and it's about a little town called um two pimes and there's an a chief inspector called gamash who's solving crimes in there and i it sets in when in season seasons so this is spring the one i read was in autumn and then the next one is going to be winter which i'm going to read first but I got to pick up this book because they, it's got a real good spring type thing with the Easter eggs and all sorts. So this one's going to be read. 
then I there's another crime writer I um, have heard about quite recently. Um, she seems quite good, seems quite reasonable. And I picked it up from a charity shop because that's where I get all some good books in. Um, if there's a book you haven't buy, risk it on Amazon because it's a lot cheaper. And that is Camilla Lackberg, The Ice Princess. And I have heard a lot of good things about this. So I might even start reading this. I don't know. But I heard really good comments that it's a real proper proper crime novel-ish uh, read so I might just get get down and finish this book I'm unsure but I might read it in the new year I'm unsure I don't plan what I read by books I just go into the kill then I'm going to read this in the summer because I'm leaving this um for summer and that is Sydney Sheldon's The F The Sky Is Falling and I love Sydney Sheldon's thrillers I think he's a great um, thriller writer I have read all his books before and this one I actually got this on Kindle so I might give this book a read on Kindle during the new year maybe in summer or spring I don't know but this one I can't wait to grip my hands into it is he's a really good author Sidney Sheldon the guy is and then another crime writer I always love her stories I love her books I love her book trailers I love everything about this woman and it's gory it's gripping you guessed it it's Tess Garrison die again I got the last to die and I'm going to try and read this one I love Tess Garrison's books I actually started going back reading her because the reason why I stopped reading her for a while I didn't want to get bored of her because she's such a great writer so I always made sure I keep my ma mind separate so I can get her um, read and that is Die Again by Tess Garrison which will be read. And then I saw this on Pinterest, I really saw it and it looked really really good. I can't wait to get in my hands into it, I really can't, it's beaming at me and I really want to get into it. There's two book, three books that are beaming at me and say, give me, get me to read, get me to read. And I was just like, oh, I don't know. And that is The Fogaris of Rhodes. I can't pronounce that title, but it's by Jessica S. Olsen. And the book is about a a painter who paint real old, old, old paint, who paints paintings of altered bodies, real life bodies, and then has this one mission to find a killer. And this is like a sort of fantasy murder mystery style. It was big talks on t TikTok. So I can't wait to get my hands into reading this. I really can't wait. And this is what I'm looking forward to reading. And then I got this another book I saw this beaming at me and I remember this book and I went back to Sasha Green actually our one of our favorite booktubers which is the book Utopia love her reading she I just love her. I'm gonna try and get her books I've been trying to get it for years but I never get chance to and that is The Wrath and the Dawn by Remy Abelaliti I I can't pronounce the name but here it is the name it's basically a retelling of one a one thousand nights which is a a story about a prince who will um, who is a prince who is to turn 18 and takes a bride each night only to have executed at sunrise so he Sound, it sounds like a really good read and I heard really good talks about it. It's a, a Thousand Nights um, retelling. So I'm really looking forward for reading it and it's all on here. I'm going to do a little bit of TBR on my Kindles because I bought quite a lot. Now, through my other society, I fortunately never got the role, but I'm going to come down and see it and support um, my society. Um there was a stage adaptations of a really great book 
uh, by Philip Pullman, actually. I never read a Philip Pullman book before, and I've always been trying for years. And that is his retelling Grim Tales. I'm, I'm tempered to read this as a a winter read of it. It's uh, You can tell it is Little Red Riding Hood. you got the wolf there and Little Red right there. It's a very... A book for the for young and old so it's basically some lot of good tales there the king the frog king or the hermit um the cat and the mouse uh, set up a house the boy who has the boy who left home to find out about the silver so about the shivers and it's is a bit basically a collection of very very short story, um, fairy tale stories but I'm going to read them all in order so I can actually get settled in and read this but this is Philip Pullman's Grim Tales and the books are right over here and then I got another collection of uh, books um, free books here one of them is a sh sort of a Shakespearean but not really but it focuses on the influence of one of Shakespeare's plays called Hamlet. And this is called Hamnet, which is actually Shakespeare's son. It's a story about Shakespeare's son who, um, if you hear on the historic quotes here, um, William Shakespeare had three children and he only died... Um, um, died 16 at the age of 16 and he wrote and William Shakespeare wrote the black wrote the book um called um um wrote wrote the play called Ham Hamlet and this is Hamnet so I'm really looking forward I bought this book quite quite some time ago actually I bought about during the pandemic and I just don't know why I never read it so I'm looking forward to start reading it soon and everything else. So, oh, I have started reading it and the bookmark fall out. I get very weird bookmarks. I'll show you the one I got for. And then the second to last book I bought is by a writer I haven't even heard about. Um, nor I want, and also want to try and get into her as well. And that is um, Drew. Lisa Joel Jewel, then she and then she was gone. So it's another disappearance um novel. I'm trying to get into a lot of disappearance novels like thriller types because what I read one called Gone by Mo Hyder and the book trailer was really disturbing. But I end up reading the book and it was fantastic, it was gripping, and you just are oh, full of action full of action so and I'm really looking forward to get into her and all sorts and then finally I got another book that I, it's been on my shelf as well so I want to get into him but I struggled to so I might leave it in the summer um, around August time September time as well and that is called Joe Nosebe Nose Noseball Joe Nesbo Joe Nesbo's The Sun and it's um I think it's a Harry Hill no it's a separate book um to the Harry Hill series I actually read three of these books The Bat The Snowman The Leopard The Leopard was really good The Snowman was not really great for me it's not really calling me as a reader but I really like to get settled in this book and settle in this journey of Joe Nesbo series and that is it so a lot of things are changing guys a lot of things are changing um but hopefully by soon all these books are not in an order so I can just pick up any book and read but it's only it's only because I've been incredibly busy with uni work and try and get everything done and everything so once it's all done and everything else I can just I can just start making videos again like I normally do but at the moment it's very tight up I even got some an essay to finish before Friday 
And once it's finished before Friday, I can just relax. <laughs> so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video, which I'm hoping to get a video done tomorrow tomorrow or the next day or the day before or next week i don't know if i don't see you merry christmas and see you in the next video hoping it's not in the in the new year but we will get the video done Woo! stay in tune bye